Hey guys, just thought I'd show you uh, another little project I've got going on here. Um, <clears throat> in Australia here, where I live, they have um, council hard rubbish collections, where once a year people can put all sorts of um, stuff out on the nature strip at the front of their house, like furniture, um, TVs, electronic goods, just whatever really, big steel items, and the council comes around and collects them. So, um, I was driving to work the other day, I got a couple of hundred metres down the road and saw these two little electric scooters on, the, on, the, on a pile, so uh, needless to say I quickly threw them in the back of the car and brought them back home. So they were a bit dirty in that, but they don't look like they've had a lot, real lot of use. Um, so first thing you do of course is pull them apart, see what makes them go. Um, they have two little lead acid, um, what are they, 5 amp hour batteries in series for 24 volt. So of course the first thing I'm thinking is they need a lithium injection. So I take the cover off and what do you know, this little 7S4P pack fits beautifully in there. So that's what I'll be building for them. Uh, these are 2100 milliamp hour high drain Sanyo cells. I think they're good for 20 amp or 15 or 20 amp, something like that. They're high drain out of power tool batteries. So I'll show you building this pack in another video coming up, but it looks like it's going to be a really easy conversion. Um, we'll have the negative on this side, positive up here on this side. Um, I'll just cut these wires off, that for my positive, this for, for my negative, and they'll just plug directly into the original plugs which will make it basically plug and play. I'll just put an inline fuse to my pack, uh, that way I can still utilize the switch and I'll just charge probably with an XT60 controller. They've got a little um, 100 watt 24 volt motor in them. Yeah, like I said, doesn't look like they've had a lot of use. Nice little belt drive there. So, um, yeah, my kids are pretty excited for me to get them up and running. So, I'll uh, share the videos as I go along, along building these packs. I'll do this one. I think I might build a 30Q pack for the next one. Um, that should last a very long time, that battery in one of these little things. So yeah, it'll be a bit of fun guys. They've just got a rear handbrake and a throttle here. So yeah, just thought I'd bring you along for the journey. Alright guys, see you later.